Hey guys, Mr. Relatable here. This video, I'm just gonna be showcasing how to do the six output dice mechanic. As I recently showed off a video only doing three outputs, I've gotten a lot of questions and comments kind of asking how to do the six output, and I don't really feel like I explained it all that well in the other video. All I kind of just said was expand what you have outwards, and that's not exactly what you do. So I wanted to do this video real quick. It's not gonna be all that long, and I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through it step by step like I did with the other one. So enough with the rambling, let's get right into it. First thing you're gonna wanna do is grab a block and just build up three high like so, and then put a floor on top. Doesn't matter what block you use, I'm just using metal for simplicity. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is just place a ramp like so, and then two blocks outwards. So you should have something that kind of looks like this. Next thing we're gonna do is go into the creative menu and go to devices, and we're gonna grab 15 music sequencers. So click on it three times. We're gonna grab five speed boosts, five traps, actually 10 traps, and then 15 baller spawns. So what we're gonna do is firstly, we're gonna take the speed boosts and put it down the ramp like so. You're gonna wanna put three so it looks like that. Next thing you're also gonna wanna do is go into create a menu once again, go to galleries, and then right near the bottom, if you scroll all the way down to the bottom and then scroll up, I'd say maybe about 10 rows, you should find a thing called obstacle course gallery or floor gallery, obstacle course floor gallery. You're gonna wanna grab that and just chuck it on down. Grab any of these little triangle pieces, doesn't matter which color, they all work the exact same. Just pick which color works best for your project. Now put it like so, so the triangle kind of looks like this. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, is take a baller, come look at it from this direction and place the baller like so. The reason we're fitting at it from this direction is so the little grappling hook bit is on the backside. So when you're shooting it or activating it like so, you won't see the grappler, so it just looks a little bit cleaner. Afterwards, we're gonna put a music sequencer just like that and start modifying some settings. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do, go up to looping, put that on infinite. Tempo, we're gonna go all the way up to 180. If you guys didn't watch the first video of me doing this, you can use the arrow keys for the speed and tempo. You can use it for pretty much anything. If I go to here, I can use arrow keys just to modify everything. The way you do it is just click in the center or you could even click an arrow. Just make sure that you click on any part of the tag that we're trying to modify and then just use the arrow keys, move it up and down. Length, put it on whatever output amount that you want. So we're doing six. Width will go half, height will go half. Trigger type is going to be an on off switch. Trigger is active, make sure that's on always. And then activate on game phase, game start. That is the first of many music sequencers that we're going to modify. Next thing we're going to do is come out behind it and put four metal walls, a floor, and then three up like so. So it kind of looks like a bucket. Line the bucket with spike traps. What this pretty much does is makes it so when you shoot the baller, it's going to roll down the ramp, activate the music sequencer, fall into the bucket. The bucket kills the baller, so the baller respawns back up at the top. Next thing we're going to do is build outwards. So kind of wherever this bar is looking, you're going to want to build floors out and you're going to want to build however many outputs that you have plus one. So if you have six outputs, you're going to build out seven blocks. So six outputs plus the one that's going to make seven. If you're doing three outputs. You build out three blocks plus one. That makes four. Next thing you're going to want to do is kind of come and look at it like this. So you kind of see a T and then place Skip the first block, excuse me. Skip the first block and then place your six music sequencers. Like so, pretty simple. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is modify each of these music sequencers so it's the exact same. Tempo, we're gonna put to a 20. The length, width, and height should be normal, half, and then half. Trigger type, make sure it's a trigger active should be always so that's it for that one go and do the same one for each and every one of them put them down to 20 and then normal half should do this for all six of them once you're done with that we'll move on to the next step
I wanted to start doing more tutorials like this. So let me know if you guys like these kind of tutorials, kind of showing off more advanced mechanics or things of that nature. I was even thinking about doing a quote unquote creative basics series where I kind of show you guys all the basics of creative and what each thing does. But let me know what you guys think about that. I'm not sure if I want to do that 100% yet, but it definitely seems like something I could be interested in. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to build out three blocks from the first one and then just kind of expand that downwards. So you should, you should, excuse me, have a three by six kind of metal plate like so. Go down the line, place music sequencers like so. Skipped one on accident. And modify each of them to the same thing. Tempo is going to be 180 yet again. Now the length is going to be normal. The width and height are also going to be normal. So don't modify anything except for the length. And then the damage needs to be on very low. So you should have something that kind of looks like this. Just a little box, nothing crazy. Same thing with this one, up to 180. Normal. And then very low. So just go through and do that on each and every one of them, like we did for the previous thing. Once we're done with that, we'll move on to the next step yet again. Normal and very low. Two more. 180, normal, very low. I'm really excited to see what you guys are going to actually do with this as a lot of people have given me questions so I'm hoping you guys will make something and then show me what you guys do if you decide to. So after you have this they all should kind of look like so and place six ramps facing like that. Next thing you're going to want to do grab your ballers place them like this. The reason we're placing them like this is so the baller faces forward. The way that you know which way the baller is facing is if you rotate the ramps around, you look at it like this, you'll see this little kind of tag thing, this metal tag. If you look at it like this, the metal tags at the top, like so, the metal tags on the left. You want the metal tag to be up at the top. There you are. Next thing that we're going to do is build more buckets. We built one bucket already. Now we're going to build six. We're going to construct our buckets kind of like this. It kind of looks like that. And then put our walls up in front. But we're going to edit it down like so. So we have a little lip that catches the ball as well as makes it so the players can still see what they got. Next thing, take five more traps or six more. Gonna have to grab another set of traps. There we go. We should have something that looks like this. Now, here's where the confusing part comes. I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you made it this far on the three output tutorial, you'll know that this part gets a little more confusing. But this part is the thing that I don't feel like I explained very well in the other video. So I'm going to try my best to explain it as best as I can in this one. So all we're going to do down here is take these and take like the back of the buckets and then just add a floor to it. And now we're going to need a little more, more music sequencers. Just going to grab 10 more. And now what you're going to do is place one like that. Skip over two. Place one like that. And now turn yourself around. So let me turn off phasing. Turn yourself around so you kind of back yourself into this corner and then place two like so. So you should have one that's facing the right direction and then these two should be facing the left direction. I'm going to do the exact same thing over here. Just have two facing the left. Now each of these are going to have the exact same settings. So once again, the tempo is going to be 180. It's always 180 it seems. We're going to put it on 180. Length, we'll put to half, width, half, height, half. And then also, make sure that trigger is active. Make sure this is on only when not sweeping. 
This is extremely important that it's on only when not sweeping. If it's not, it'll completely break the entire thing. So make sure that it's on only when not sweeping. 180, half, half, half. And then only when not sweeping. 180, half, half, half. Only when not sweeping. But yeah, if you guys decide to make any like board games or something like that, please just, you know, send them over and over. I'd love to see them. Board games are easily one of my most like favorite things to make in Fortnite. Um, I've already made two and I loved doing both of them. And I mean, it seems that a lot of the people enjoy playing them as well. So if you make any, please just show them off to me. I'd love to see them. So this is our last one right here though. Put it on 180, half, half, half. Only one off sweeping. We would have, should have something that kind of looks like this. It's pretty basic so far. However, now what we're gonna do is let's kind of clump them up into sets of three. Excuse the car outside. We're putting them up into sets of three like this. So we're just gonna put a wall in the middle. You don't have to put this, it's just for visual. Visu, <laughs> visu, oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna try. Um, anyway, all you're gonna wanna do is put them into chunks of three like so. Put a wall behind the first chunk of three, so kind of expand that downwards and put a floor like so. Same thing on this side, put it like that. You should have something that kind of looks like this. Next thing you're gonna wanna do, put a block like that. Put the tempo to 180. Music sequence are like this. I don't know why I said block. Length is gonna be normal, width, height are both half. And then trigger is active only when not sleeping. Who would have thought? Next one on this side, you're going to just kind of do the same thing, but mirror it. So back yourself into the corner like we did up there. And then put it like so. Tempo is 180. Length is going to be normal with height half. And then trigger is active only when not sweeping. I actually did forget something. Now I'm just thinking about it. Go into each of these down at the bottom as well. And just put the direction on reverse. You only have to do it on these two, so just make sure that the direction is from forward to reverse. Okay, next thing, let's put a metal floor like this. Music sequencer coming out of it, that's facing that direction. Modify it so it's at speed 180. Length is normal, width, height, both half. Trigger is active only when not sweeping, and then this direction is also going to be a reverse. Build out two blocks from this one. Put one last music sequence. This, this is our final music sequencer that we're going to do. Tempo, put it up to the 180 standard. The length is going to be half. Width and height are going to be modified a little bit. Height is going to be a three. Width is going to be a 10, I believe. And then, only when not sweeping. It should look something like this. I believe we are all done if I did everything correctly. This is the last music music sequencer that you're gonna place. You wanna make sure that this one, it kind of, it makes a box out of it, like a big rectangle. You're gonna make sure that this big rectangle encompasses all six of these outputs, as well as comes over and hits this one. So you can see that the box is coming out like so and kind of cutting across and then leading all the way over. So just make sure that it covers up everything and we should be good to go. Forgot to give myself a gun as well as I don't have flight powers. So that is gonna be a little awkward. So we'll just come over here with our wood. And we should have something that kind of looks like this. This is what your mechanic should look like when it's done. Excuse that. Um, yeah, don't do that. That's not the greatest thing. You're pretty much probably going to just want to have a platform out here that you just shoot the baller. My maps, for example, I always had like a sign that says a roll and then an arrow pointing down. Anyways, we're just going to hit this baller. Okay, so we're back. Um, yeah, kind of messed that one up. Gave myself flight as well as gave myself a pistol. <laughs> anyway, this is what your mechanics should kind of look like when it's finished. 
should have kind of these rows that keep moving. They'll never touch the end when it's just idle like so. However, you should just have these that kind of look like little dominoes. So next thing we're gonna do is just shoot the baller to test kind of what it does. We shot the baller and bam, this one falls down and breaks like so. We'll do it again. Now we got that one over there. So this is pretty much it. This is how you make a six output dice mechanic. We got five again. But yeah, this is pretty much everything that you need to know and how to do it. If you guys have still questions and kind of how to like any questions on how to do it, any questions on if yours is broken, if it's not working, just let me know, leave them in the comments. I'll try to get back to everyone that I can. Kind of getting the same outputs, kind of uh, unlucky, but lucky at the same time. But yeah, this should be everything that you need to know. If you still have any more questions, like I said, leave them below. But that's once again enough for rambling. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.